Hi guys, welcome back. Today's review is um, Sanjin DCR 89 FM and DAB radio. And um, so this radio comes with aux connection and headset connection. And um, so with this radio, you can save um, five pre uh, stations on FM and five stations uh, on DAB. So you've got all together like uh, 10 stations and uh, it has the alarm function and also sleep mode. I will go through all that later. And um, this is the band button to change from uh, FM to uh, DAB or from DAB to FM. And, uh, and this one here, is to uh, update software when there's there is one available you cannot use the um, the usb cable to turn the radio on this is only to um, update uh, software only for that purpose okay it's actually on at the moment so um, Normally, after you look, I'm going to turn it off. It's on standby mode now. So, um, with standby mode, you can see the time. Time will display after a few seconds, and I'm going to turn it on. And um, so, this is the antenna. I forgot to mention it. So, I'm going to go through the menu. So, you press the menu button and then press the right arrow key to go through to settings system settings select and that's the time um, you can use the language and backlight okay when you see backlight and you can press the select button and you can this is zero actually so there's no backlight at all so you can use up to eight so that's on five now. Okay, I'm going to use eight and press select button. And uh, there's software upgrade, which we don't want to do that now. Um, this is factory reset. And this is how you find the software version. So it's version 1C, which is the latest version press the menu button again and uh, yeah so um, when you set up the alarm and um, I'll press the alarm button and so uh, let's say six o'clock I just leave it as it is and um, alarm duration you can actually have it for 60 minutes which means when the alarm start working it will um, uh, until you turn it off it will work uh, for one hour if you set it up for 60 minutes and also you can use uh, the alarm as the buzzer or let me set this again uh, duration 60 a buzzer uh, or as a uh, station depth station so and also you can um, you can just set it up for um, the sound the noise level one to i think it's seven yeah one to seven so i would use five and press the select button you can um, uh, set the alarm for last listen station or or you can choose any station you like from FM or DAB. So daily, I would choose daily. So my alarm would work um, six o'clock every morning. Um, and this is um, to say that you set the alarm. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah, so that's about it. And this is a pretty good uh, radio. Um, let's say that you want to um, listen to the radio uh, at night maybe when you go to bed and uh, you can actually press the 
sleep sleep button here and uh, leave it uh, let's say that you are going to listen 45 minutes and you set it up for 45 minutes and uh, after 45 minutes it will uh, the radio will turn off itself so which is really good so i'll go through this again alarm sleep mode and these are the five uh, preset buttons and menu info button here to go um, to settings and um, band so to change from fm to dab or dab ox mode and uh, and to dab again and um, this is the um, tuning control button so and uh, what else mm, this is the standby mode i mean uh, the power button uh, when you press it once it just uh, goes uh, onto standby mode okay i'll turn it on again and this is where the volume control button as i showed you before and um, this is the antenna area uh, and this is where the um, power adapter goes in it's a uh, what is it uh, 7.5 volts i don't know whether you can see it 1.6 amp and as i said you cannot um, connect your usb cable to turn the radio on you need the uh, adapter and uh, this is a, the speaker uh yeah that's about it this is a great little radio but uh, one more thing actually when you buy this radio if you have uh, uh, i'm going to system settings and i'm going to software version press select button if you don't have this version like if you don't have v1c um, if you do have a version 15 or 16 you need to uh, update this uh, version uh, so you can call the uh, uh, importer distributor or the manufacturer to get it updated that's about it guys uh, if you have any questions please ask me and thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye